Lab 14.2 that's viewing the Monte Carlo in the histograms. In this lab, uh, we will see the Monte Carlo in the yielding the production yield by viewing the histograms, waveforms in the in the probes uh, performance analysis feature. First of all, we will open the project uh, as we usually do, like a new project in a blank screen. Here we gonna design a, a chap shear filter which have a center frequency of 10 kilohertz and a bandwidth of 1.5 kilohertz. The components are rounded to the nearest available like 1% resistor, 5% of capacitor. So their value is rounded up to 1% and 5% so that we can do the Monte Carlo analysis. We will analyze on the histogram basis. First of all, add all libraries. We need resistors, capacitance, op amps, voltage sources, and grounds. Round off the value of resistor. For resistor, we are going to have a like a one percent of uh, round off Capacitance will be molded up to like five percent. So we have the five percent variation in the value of capacitance.
at the open LT1013 at the DC sources enter the off-pitch connector this will be the off-pitch connector for the supplying the voltage source to our op amps LT1013 so this is like and just uh, the source is kept outside but they are internally connected to, to the power supplying to the op amp so the off-pitch connector name it as a V negative and V plus as we usually have it uh, plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt for our design So this forms a 15 volt uh, DC supply to the op amps.
Connect the resistance and the capacitor and the feedback. This is the uh, filter circuit which has center frequency of 10 kilohertz and bandwidth of 1.5 hertz. This is the chap shave filter. Give the net LES at the output. So we are interested in the, seeing the values at the output of the filter. So we will place the net LES and a voltage marker at the output pin. Because over from that we want to see how much output we are getting in the frequency value. So input is 1 volt AC. And we want to see how much we getting the output and we do the Monte Carlo analysis and then we will generate the histogram of that change all the resistance value Now run the simulation. Run the piece for as analog to digital mode. Run the AC sweep mode. We're gonna have a starting frequency of 100 100 100 hertz, and we have the ending frequency of uh, 1 megahertz. Points per decade will be like. Uh, 50 points per decade, so it will be like 50 50. The Monte Carlo analysis we are interested in the output variable as a V output, as we have seen. Set the net LES as the V output. The number of runs should be 100. Run the signal, and we have to place a voltage marker at the output because this will automatically generate uh, in our uh, graph. Otherwise, we have to add the trace.
Games and Gmail open opens are wrong. So this is the center frequency of 10 kilohertz output of filter. Now we go from histogram, press tab, add the V bandwidth, VDB, VDB output, comma one. So this one will press OK and we lead the form of histogram. That's all the histogram. Press the option like a 20 histograms we wanna see that these are all the percentage of samples on the y-axis and y-axis is the bandwidth ptb01 and that's all histogram for our chap shape filter with having center frequency of uh, the kilohertz So measurement the function is the center frequency at an output comma one VDB in order to make histogram we have to make a VDB at our statement so this is our center frequency VDB one so at 10k 